In this video, I'll show you how to turn your printer online. So if your printer is currently in offline mode, then I'm going to show you how we can turn it online and how we can detect the printer. So the first thing you need to do is just make sure your printer and computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And once you've ensured that both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi, we then need to head over to the start menu on your computer, search for settings, and then click on the settings icon. From the left hand side, select Bluetooth and device devices, scroll down to printers and scanners, and then scroll down and you'll need to locate your printer in this list. Now, as long as your printer is turned on and connected to the same Wi-Fi, then you should find your printer listed here. If you can't see your printer in this list, then just click on add device, select the add device button, and then you can go and connect it automatically from here. So now that your printer is connected, go and select it from the list, then scroll down to more devices and printer settings, scroll down to the bottom and once again, double click on your printer and then from the printer settings page, click on printer in the top navigation and make sure that use printer offline is unchecked like this. If you have this option enabled, then simply disable it like so. Now, once you've done that, you can just come back over to the previous menu and once again, locate your printer from this list of devices. And then in the top right hand side, make sure set as default is selected like this. And then you can go to check to see if that's now fixed your printer issue. If it's still not working, Working, the next thing to do is head over to your start menu, search for services, and then click on the services window. In this list of services, we need to scroll down until you see the print spooler service. So once you've found print spooler, which is this one here, just simply double click on it, make sure the startup type is set to automatic, and make sure the service status is set to running like this, and then just press apply and OK. Then what we're going to do is right click on the print spooler and just press restart. Now, once again, you can check to see if that that solved your issue. If it's still not working, head back over to the settings page, click back on the Bluetooth and devices, scroll down and click on printers and scanners, and then once again, select your printer from the list of devices. Now this time, we're just gonna click the remove button in the top right hand side, and you'll now need to go and re-add your printer to this list. You can do that by clicking on add device, and as long as both devices are connected to the same network, then it should automatically detect here. If your printer isn't displayed in this list, then just click on show show Wi-Fi direct printers. And as you can see now, it will pop up with both of the different printers. So we can simply click on add device next to the one that we want to add. And it would now attempt to connect to this printer. So it's as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.